So just to quickly say, and then I'll just show you, which is way better. Um, Ment.io enables structured, structured and easy to read discussions, easy to navigate in discussions. Mostly it is used in an asynchronous manner. Average time on the platform for a student is about 20 minutes, which is really, really impressive. So what you're looking at now is the general discussion page of Ment.io. These are different discussions. Some of them have been closed already, overdue, open discussions. This is a demo page, a, um, a demo team on Ment.io. So all these overdues are understandable. Um, it's wonderful to view active live discussions on Ment.io. Um, what you're seeing here is a question on the platform and different answers that had been given by the students. A student goes on the platform and they can see, first of all, they're seeing the answer that is ranked highest on the platform by the AI engine. The AI engine is looking for um, support and depth of support of arguments. So you can see different scoring of answers. And when a student goes on the platform and for example, they would like to have a better look at this particular answer, they can read the answer, ask for clarification, they can agree or disagree or anything in between, and uh, they can mark as insightful. The most in interesting part happens when they decide to collaborate and actually create their own arguments. This is where they need to decide whether they agree or disagree with a particular, with this particular answer and write why. Now, I know not all of you teach um, rational thinking or philosophy or other disciplines that are really, really interested in how people make arguments, but we all live in today's world. And so making arguments and challenging arguments in a thoughtful, respectful manner is extremely important. And this is where our students are required to articulate to themselves what it is that they're arguing. And it makes everyone's lives easier because everyone visiting the platform, visiting this particular discussion, uh, in this case, can see the agreements and disagreements. And I can see, I can sk skim through the different answers and only view the agreements and disagreements. I can really also focus in particular on the agreements and disagreements according to segments that I, um, that I determine when I open this particular team. In addition, I have this menu that enables me to see my participants and see the type of participation that they have. And we are speaking about active learning and how I can see the way my students are being engaged on the platform. So do they only vote? Do they answer or comment? And one difference between Ment.io and other discussion boards is the fact that on Ment.io, answers and comments are equally important. Actually, our goal is to generate um, a discussion with limited number of answers and many, many comments to these answers, because this is where depth happens. This is where the really important arguments are starting to surface, not just each student uh, throwing their answer to the paper or the screen, right? Um, but really making thoughtful arguments and discussing with others. I can also see an activity log uh, arranged according to time. So I will see in, in lighter color the comments and answers that I hadn't seen yet, and I can navigate directly to them. I can also only review the highlights of the discussion. So another uh, benefit in the sense that I don't need to spend many, many hours. Again, I'm super passionate about my teaching, but I also need to be mindful of how much time I spend uh, on each class. So this is basically uh, directing me towards the most insightful comments, the most debated areas, the best answers according to a segment or according to the entire group. And this is the main page of a discussion. What you're seeing here is, let's take for example, a discussion that had been opened for a week from last class to uh, the class after that. And two days before that class, I go on the discussion and I create a discussion recap. Students can do it as well if they generated the question or if I assign them to, but in general, this is what it would look like after um, the discussion recap. A few more pages that I'd like to show you. Ment.io generates team analytics, so the team can see collaboration, how knowledge is being created basically, how quality of discussions, general team statistics, activity over time, this is again a demo room, type of participation, and I think, but I think most interestingly, this is an interesting page when we're speaking about active learning, because this is personal to each and every user. Everything that you've seen so far is visible to everyone. This is visible to each user about themselves. This is where they see how they're doing. This is where they see how they can improve. They can see their thought distance from other users, from other team members, meaning that they can create conversations and elaborate on the topics that they disagree with, that they disagree about, sorry. 
they have this cognitive map of how thorough they are, how balanced they are in additional elements versus the team median. So again, they know where they stand, which is extremely important when we're trying to empower them. And lastly, in terms of pages on the, uh, the platform is the page that is only visible to the admins, which is the assessment spreadsheet. The assessment spreadsheet basically looks at three factors. You're seeing five elements, five components, and they are divided into three sectors, engagement, collaboration, and quality. So in engagement, we'd be seeing how many discussions did the students take part in? How many actions have they, did, have they uh, performed on the platform? In terms of collaboration, how many answers by others have they viewed? And how much did they collaborate with others? And quality in the sense of how thoughtful and how deep were they in their answers. And this is in a nutshell what the platform does. Lastly, I'll just show you two quick things. Opening a discussion enables me to enable anonymous mode to increase inclusivity, right? If students feel uncomfortable, I can mark this to enable anonymous mode. I can ask the question, of course, create background, create a due date, and also save as draft if I'm not ready to post the discussion question just yet. And that's it for me. Thank you so much.